Why? Take like a this point a, five. I think that's a video. Yeah, it's a video. Oh. That's part of the vlog. Hey, Turn around and get really close to the camera. Hi guys. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a cut right there. <laughs> okay, guys, day one of the TMEA San Antonio vlog. These are these are my friends. So I woke up at I woke up at four forty five in the morning. Caught the bus. <laughs> we went to Bucky's. <laughs> I slept. We got to the hotel. Uh, we took <laughs> we took the elevator upstairs. Okay, we almost got out the wrong one, but it's all right. We take the elevator up to our room. We see our hotel room. Um, it's really cool. It's really nice. We're here with the the best IHOP waitress that we've ever had in our entire lives. Um, <laughs> okay. Going back to the hotel, we get in the hotel. And honestly, I don't even remember what we do, but basically after we go to the hotel, we go and we go get lunch at McDonald's. And Sway loves his chocolate chip cookies. We got our $5 cookie tote that had 13 freshly baked chocolate chip cookies. They were so good. Yeah, and after that, we toured the convention center. Me and Evan actually, we found the men's dressing room. We were not actively searching for it. Yeah, we we, we kind of were actively searching for it. But we were in the underground area, so. After that, we went back to the hotel. Then we had our first rehearsal. First rehearsal of the day, which started at 6 p.m. Oh, before that, sorry, before that, we had a, uh, we had our welcome meeting. We had our welcome meeting at the Lila Cockrell Theater. And then we had our first rehearsal, 6 to 9 p.m., three hours. And it was great for some of us. Now we're at IHOP. Um, we're going to have a great trip. This is just day one, you know. You might see us at IHOP again because it might be the only thing available. <laughs> the only thing available for dinner, at least. It's around 10 o'clock right now. 11 p.m. is our bedtime. Or, sorry, not bedtime. Our cur <laughs> is our, cur is our curfew. Um, we got to do a lot of homework, too. Uh, and we're going to have a great day tomorrow. Okay, bye, guys. See you tomorrow. All right, day two of TMEA. So we got up like at 6.45 this morning. We ate breakfast. So the thing about the breakfast, right? There were just basically four four boxes of pastries, juice, and oranges. It wasn't my type of breakfast. I personally only just like got an orange and just left. But we head headed over to the convention center for our first rehearsal, which started at nine in the morning. Um, So we did wake up like fairly early. We did have, did have some free time. We went, to the, uh, we went to the convention center and we did our rehearsal. Our first rehearsal was nine to 12. After that, we got a lunch break and that lasted until 2 p.m during that lunch break i actually went to the convention center with um uh some friends shout out to uh Pernav, uh lily and joseph joseph park it was super fun we basically just went around there were a lot of like percussion places so we got to see a lot of cool stuff <laughs> Convention center was really nice, and I we're gonna probably I'm probably gonna go there during lunch again tomorrow. Go into our second rehearsal, which our second rehearsal is two to five p.m. And by this point, I'm actually really tired, like especially percussion, because you basically stand for three hours. After that, we had dinner. She went down to the river walk with with some of the gang from my school, but oh, and then after that, we had one more rehearsal, seven seven to nine p.m. Oh, we're basically back. I just, I just realized space in the frame. Yeah, but the majority of majority of the time for all state is actually really rehearsals. You don't at least for today we didn't get a huge amount of free time although our two hour lunch was long it didn't give us still enough time that i wanted to look at the convention i looked around at probably 75 percent of it which is a lot but i didn't get to spend much time at a lot of the places so i'm excited to go back tomorrow if you ever go to all state just know that you should prioritize the convention over your lunch the convention is really cool there's a lot of things that you can explore there uh, i got a picture with leigh howard stevens i'm in the 6a percussion ensemble so um he's actually my conductor but i wanted a picture so we got a picture and then we also so, oh, I also met Mark Ford, who we're actually having a concert with. Everyone should go to at Lebanon Trail at some some date. Follow LT at LT Drums on Instagram. Now we're basically back. It was a really short day, so basically the whole layout of the day was: you wake up, you go to rehearsal, you eat lunch, you go to rehearsal, you eat dinner, you go to rehearsal, and then it's basically the end of your day. We only have two rehearsals tomorrow, and we have a, a director dinner with all the directors around 6 p.m. I believe. So that's gonna be super cool. But I'm super excited about the performance. 
Karan Sharma from Lebanon Trail. What's one one piece of advice that you would give for people aspiring to become all stater? Don't give up, cause like I was gonna give up a lot of the way. I don't know. All state kind of showed me that like I'm not as bad as I think I am, or like put myself down. Like I put myself down way too much. But like, I can actually do things if I put my mind to it and stuff. Wow, inspirational. So inspirational. Being part of the 5A Symphonic Band this year, what is the one thing that you've enjoyed most? Playing with good people. <laughs> like every region band that I've been to, there. This is the first time there hasn't been like a conductor. Like the conductor didn't have to sit down and teach the clarinets how to play their instruments for like 20 minutes. Everyone actually knows what they're doing. Everyone's really good. It's more about like actual music stuff. Yeah, I, I empathize with the clarinet thing. What is it doing? What is that? <laughs> a meeting call. All right, boys, they are ready. They do wake up at, uh, this time we actually wake up at 7.30 in the morning. We go walk to the rehearsal center. We have our first rehearsal with 9 to 12 again. <laughs> Oh, we actually found this, uh, we actually found a, a bunch of cool things that I didn't see yesterday, like a piano that could play on its own. Oh my god, this is great. Wait, that's so weird. And there was actually a table that was like a snare pad. back to rehearsal, this man, Mr. Stevens, because I'm in the 6 8 professional ensemble, gives us a bunch of goodies, right? Gives us like mallets. He gave us a signed book by him, his own, like, because he wrote, I think he wrote at least, Method of Movement for Marimba. Then we did like four full runs of our program. Three, four, five, six, seven, okay, Benav. So close. Go up, go up. You want that t-shirt, don't you? <laughs> We had the director dinner, which basically uh, all the kids from Love and I'm sure which is my school, we basically went to Doe's Pizza. And after that, we go back to the hotel and then we end up going to the mall, right? The mall is closed, like the mall is literally closed. There's nothing in the mall that's open. We end up going to this place called the Sugar Factory. What kind of sugar? I'm just gonna put some videos here, but it was it was insane. It was like we were in a dream. Like at first we walked in and we were like, this, this is kind of strange. And then we saw what they were eating. I was like, oh, okay, it looks like we sit down. And then all of a sudden, some like, a, like the employees start seeing happy birthday. Start getting sturdy out of nowhere. <laughs> It was a bit more than stupid. I rolled the clip. I'm gonna roll the clip right now. So we're at the sugar factory right now. This is the weirdest place. We have the world famous sugar factory King Kong Sunday. Ninety-nine dollars. Oh, the world's ending. We have <laughs> syrup. Check. I, yeah, I don't trust this thing. On the other hand, the cookie scale looks good. This. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh no, it's dripping. Give me the napkin. Give me the napkin. Oh, thank you, sir. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
can't take this seriously. Yeah? Wait. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> Wait. So was it okay? Yeah. Too sugary? Basically, the, that's what happened, but... Keep going, keep going, keep going. But so, so basically, basically, um, was, uh, oh yeah, well, uh, then we went back to the hotel. Got some interviews. Well, what are you, what are you, are you recording? Are you rec well, what are you doing then? <laughs> what are you doing, bro? <laughs> wait, bro, wait. <laughs> what are you, what is <laughs> So basically, uh, we got back at the hotel, and it's time to pack up for tomorrow. Can't believe that that's ba it's basically the end of our state trip, essentially. <laughs> it's definitely been a good trip. If you end up going to all states, definitely a really pr like privileged experience, and you shouldn't take it for granted, like hundred percent. All right, that's day three. See you tomorrow, where we have the concert. Hey everybody, I'm in the car right now. Um, actually in the uh, what's it called parking lot of Walmart. I I'm not finished editing the video yet but I realized I didn't have a lot of footage from day four. I plan for pictures to be shown right now, like in the video, like a little slideshow of them. A quick summary of day four. Basically, we just woke up, we went to the place and we, um, by the way, I mean, I'm eating Taco Bell, but as we went to the place, we prepped for our concert or we, we stayed in this little warm-up room and I'll show a video at the end of, um, or actually I'll show a video right now, play the clip. It's been a great pleasure working with you these last few days. I think we've all learned quite a bit. I think we've all gotten way better as musicians. Um, you're just an amazing clinician. And as a, a token of our gratitude, we've all signed. Ah, great. So that you may remember us. <laughs> is it a Kevlar or what is this? <laughs> what kind of head is this? Yes, it's Kevlar. Oh, okay. You chose well with the black. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. But yeah, so we gave Mr. Stevens a drum head, which is really cool. I'm gonna lie, I just realized it's kind of weird doing this in a Walmart parking lot. But the reason, like, I was just thinking about it, I was like, what should I do for the end of this video? I just wanted to express my gratitude to everyone I met at TMEA, you know? It's been one of those, like, life goals. It's been one of those life goals ever since eighth grade, ever since I knew about Allstate. Um, and it's been something that I've been working towards for a really, really long time. Honestly, the biggest takeaway from the whole Allstate process is don't be concerned about the placement. Don't be stressed out over having the title or status of being an Allstater because ultimately it's about the people you're playing with, the people that make the experience in music what it is. So if there's anyone um, that met me during Allstate or I talked to, I just wanted to let you know that I really do appreciate meeting you. Um, and it was one of those experiences that I just won't ever forget. I'll remember like everything from it. And also we have this vlog to remember too, which is super cool. This is basically the end of the vlog here. Um, good luck to everyone that's watching this and hasn't made Allstate before and is really trying to make Allstate. It is such a great experience. I would have to say it's like probably top two, top three experiences in my past 10 years of living. Um, I'm only 17 by the way. But I really appreciate anyone who watched the vlog and if you got a better sense of what TMEA is like, that's great. Um, that's what I hope you got out of it. But best of luck to everyone watching this in their future, what, even if it's not all state auditions for college auditions or for just um, if anyone's going into music at all for their career, just anything, anything. Hopefully you enjoy the vlog and I'll see you guys sometime. I don't know.